This challenge is called print function in Python. In the text editor, they're getting a value for n, and n is going to be an integer. Our task here is to print the numbers from one all the way to n as a string. But they say here, we don't have to use any string methods. So for example, if n is five, right here in this example, we need to print the string one, two, three, four, five. And they say it here again, we need to print the list of integers from one through n as a string without any spaces. This is how you can solve this challenge. Here I have a string called numString. It's a variable, but it's a string because this is being initialized as an empty string. I need to loop through my range here from one to n. So I'm using a for loop for this. And I'm saying for every number within the range of one to n plus one, and I have n plus one, because like I always say, the ends here is not included in the range. So now that I can access every value within the range of one to n, then I need to append that to my string. So here I'm saying numString plus equals, meaning I'm adding a value to this existing value here. And I'm going to append a string value. That string value here, I'm defining it as a placeholder. So this is not the actual string that will get stored inside of this here. These curly brackets are just placeholders. So to evaluate that or to resolve that to an actual value, the value that I want, which is the digit x as a string, I'm using the format methods. And you can call that method on strings and then specify what value you want to use to replace this placeholder. So in this case, I want x to replace my placeholder. In other words, at every iteration, I'm going to convert x to a string and then add it to my empty string here. By the time I'm done, numString is going to hold all the values from one to n as a string without any spaces. When I'm done with my for loop here, I use the print method to print my string. So let's run this code. We've passed the sample test case. When we submit it, we have a couple of other test cases. So from one to 10, we print all the values from one to 10 with the end being included in the range. So that's it for this HackerRank challenge called print function in Python. If you like my video, Please subscribe to my channel and I'll catch you next time.